pull bar attached in the, in the front of the car and then when I want to swap from the center to the right side I just hook the right side up and then pull the center one out and then when the track slicks off again put the center bar back in so is there any tricks that can't be showing right here right now or? um no I mean it made it through tech so we should be good oh okay, okay. <laughs> why is everybody scared of you they're like this Deontay is here. I won a couple races this year, but well, like a couple heat races. No, I don't count heat races. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like some B mains. I don't think I've been in any B mains. Oh, okay. I've been having a pretty. So that's why they're worried. Yeah, I've been having a pretty good year. Who are some guys from your side of the country that came along that you got to worry about? Student right here in the free car. That's um, it's actually my car owner's car, but my car owner couldn't make it, so. Uh, his name's Sean Jones. Sean Jones. Yes, huh? Sean Jones. Yeah, him and I from 2011 to now, so that's eight seasons. In seven, eight seasons, we won five of the national championships in that seven or eight year span. So, uh, but he won three years in a row, 14, 15, and 16, he won the national championship. And then I won this year's. Is there anyone down here that you've heard about or worried oh, yeah. about? Who, I, I wouldn't say I'm worried about him, but I've, I've heard about some guys around here. Um, and not saying I'm not, I know they're all good drivers and they're clean drivers, so I'm not like scared of them, but I'm excited to have some good racing with them. You know, both the, uh, I help out both the Patterson brothers, they're both on my shocks. Um, and uh, Joe Shedden and uh, Scott Prejean, the guy that, uh, Guys that he got driving for them, I've heard. I've heard that they're pretty good drivers. And Dawson Fisher seems to win everything. Yeah, around yeah, here. Dawson Fisher too. He's actually um, in one of my old cars. Um, the car he's got was was when I drove for DNR. Um, it was one of my cars a long, long time ago. So, um, and he's got all my stuff on his car. So does the brand new car he, he built. It's got all my stuff on it too. So, um, so yeah, it'll be fun to run with some customers that I've uh, sold shocks to that I haven't raced with yet. Green flag is out. We are underway here in fourth car racing action. Darren Brown going to have the early lead as Ryan Diotti trying to make the move. This Tim Clocko as well as this 
71 of John Rome, bowing it out with Ty McCoy in the 5X. Flock him to get the advantage. Darren Brown continues to lead, but Ryan D on the island of the back of the machine, trying to make something of it here in your final few laps at the Heart of Texas Speedway. Two laps to go. The Audi all over the back bumper to the end of side of the 11 of Brown. We're side by side on the turn. Two down the back straightaway. Brown with the advantage as we work into three and four. This time by the white flag is going to be flying one more lap to go around the heart of Texas Speedway. Darren Brown runs the bottom. The Audi goes to the outside. Diamonds it off on the bottom side. The turn number two down the back straightaway. He's got to run on Brown to the three and four. The Audi going to go high. Brown making it low. Brown sweeps up. The Audi going to look to the inside. And Ryan Diotti is going to come home in the second spot. Green flag in the heat race here in Wolf Car Racing action as we head off into one and two. The small cars are four wide on the turn two. You got Rogers, Whitmire, Polk, and Patterson. Kyle Jones in that black and yellow number five cars. They're still four wide on the turn number four. Jones going to move up into second. And Patterson goes around. Green flag, and we are back underway. Danny Rogers continues to lead in the 0-2 machine. Whitmire there, Jones going to look to the outside and get the lead on the turn of two. You got a new lead on the five of Kyle Jones. Battle for second is not a battle anymore. 22 k of Anthony Pope makes the move around Danny Rogers. Rogers now falls into the third spot. Rogers trying to battle back on the outside of him down the back straight away. And Anthony Pope able to hold on to the second spot. Kyle Jones continues to lead two to go this time by just two more laps to go for the number five machine of Kyle Jones. Battle of the third of the nine. The Petaluma, California driver of Chad Mathis makes the move up in the third round. Danny Rogers. Rogers is falling off the pace with the white flag flying. Another car looking to the inside of Rogers. He loses another spot on the speedway. But up front, it's not been a mistake for this driver. It's the fire of Kyle Jones picking up the win here in Dwarf Car Heat Racing Action. Pope second, third, Mathis, and Danny Rogers with a bad run. But Kyle Jones dominated in Heat Racing Action. Gave me a great car, uh, ran the top, uh, started sparking a little bit. Made me a little bit nervous after we got the lead, so I moved down, just kind of held my position, didn't really fight it, and see if we could win it. And I uh, ended up doing good, winning it, so uh, I think that'll put us fourth in the A, or qualifier, go from there. Velocity USA is an industry leader in providing state-of-the-art safety equipment for race teams and drivers. Pro suits feature custom design and unlimited embroidery, along with shoulder applet, 360 rotational arm gussets, flex gusset in the back, boot cuff with inner liner, foot stir, and trademark black Kermel lensing liner. All pro suits are made with stain-resistant, lightweight premium material, as well as Flowtech arm and leg seams to keep you, the driver, cool and comfortable behind the wheel of your race car. Velocity USA USA can also provide custom gloves and racing shoes to add to your swag. Velocity USA also has plenty of other options for the racers on a budget. Everything from our custom, team, and sportsman series suits to our VR one layer suits which include 360 rotational arm gussets, radio pocket, and boot cuff with inner liner priced at just under $200. Whether you are the weekly racer going for the track championship or a touring talent looking for the national title from the cuffs, gloves, and the shoes that you lace you can look good feel safe and save at Velocita usa
All-Pro Clutch and Driveline is located in Abilene, Texas and has over 16 years of experience in the driveline industry. We offer a wide range of products in the agricultural, oil field, commercial trucking, automotive, and racing industries. Our goal at All-Pro is to provide the best service using the highest quality parts to ensure that our customers receive the maximum potential from our products along with the best customer service. Give us a call at 325-677-9149 or visit our website at All Pro Driveline. Driveline.com. When you can't wait and need things to slide, grab and go, you can depend on a driveline straight from the street to the slab at All Pro. Are you from the DFW or North Texas region? Have a new, older, vintage model car lying around? Maybe a go-kart, motorcycle, or ATV that just isn't used? Well, let the professionals at A&M Cash for Cars pay you top dollar for your motorized vehicle. Anything from cars, trucks, vans, go-karts, ATVs, side-by-sides, and motorcycles. New, old, vintage, and rare, the list is endless of what we are looking to give Code Hard Cash for today. If it has a motor in it, running or not, A&M Cash for Cars is ready to take it off your hands. To inquire on getting cash today, give us a call at 214-315-2675 or message us on our Facebook page. Remember, if you are thinking of selling or trading anything in, to stop in your tracks and reach out to A&M. Build your brand. Drive exposure and connect with a captive audience that supports the brands they know. Mississippi Thunder Speedway provides you and your company with a marketing plan and promotional opportunities that put you in front of an energetic, captive, educated audience that has money and is ready to spend it. Since 2009, Mississippi Thunder Speedway continues to be recognized both regionally and nationally as a premier motorsports facility hosting USRA and USMTS events that boost the emotions of crowds and racers, lifting them off the edge of their seats. Now your business can be part of this energy and excitement. If you want to entertain customers and reach a captive and engaged audience, Mississippi Thunder Speedway has the power-packed custom marketing programs to do just that. From the VIP Super Lounge to on-track signage, PA event advertising and opportunities to sample and show your product Mississippi Thunder Speedway works with you through every detail. That's why Mississippi Thunder Speedway promotional partners return year after year. That's why trackside marketing plans are selling out and that's why you need to take advantage of the sport that continues to grow and give families the best value for a night of entertainment. To learn more and get on track to creating a custom marketing program today, contact the Mississippi Thunder Speedway Marketing Manager. Second position. 
position. McGowan goes home in fifth. Gary Higgins goes home in second. And Columbus, Nebraska, Anthony Ross takes home the win here in the racing action. Flipped that rut and, and let him get by me, but heart's feeling okay. Track's, uh, track's a little rough still, but um, I think we'll be all right. Feels pretty good. What are you doing? Just uh, double checking my toe because I hit that rut real hard with my right front, and, and uh, I I can tell it's off a little because my steering wheel's off from where I line it up. So I just get it all squared back up, and make sure I didn't bend any ball joints, or just kind of look over everything. It's, uh, Pretty choppy out there. Well, talk about it. It's terrible. <laughs> track looked to be a little rough, though. Yeah. Yeah, the track was really rough. Uh, I mean, the car was real fast, but the track was just terrible. So, which is understandable with all the rain, you know. But I mean, we're gonna do something. Somebody's gonna roll a car over or something over here, you know. Are there any passing points or anything to help out there? No, they don't do that here. You just start where you finish that race. So we're gonna have a little bit of a struggle in the, a little bit of a struggle in the qualifier, but it is what it is. So we'll put our nose to the grindstone and see what we can do there. You know, the track is so rough, it's more rough than we anticipated, so I'm trying to basically settle the car down. So we leveled the pull bar out and took some J-bar angle out of it I because mean, it was rolling real hard lifting the left front. And uh, I'm going to sit here and think about what else we need to do to kind of straighten her up, get it, get it acting right. But like I said, first couple nights, or first couple laps on the car, so... Plus, we were just all racing out there, so it's tough starting at the back, but it's what it is. We'll keep on working on it and figure it out. Turn some laps. So, uh, you won last time and now you're in a B. What the hell is going on? Everything's circumstantial when you have 85 cars show up to the track. It's a, uh, you know, top two in the heat. That's, that's, especially with the rain coming in, just a lot of slop. But it was just a hard, it was a hard heat, you know, and we got the, we got the car count of a small main event in a heat race. You got eight laps. And uh, it seemed like three cars were going for the same open spot. Well, all those West Coast guys were saying guys like you and the Texas Dwarf guys are just overrated. They don't have no competition. I mean, maybe, but uh, it's, uh, I mean, we're, we're here to lay it out there and, and turn that talk into they hard facts. They were specifically talking about you. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. All right. They, said they saw that orange car on the show, and then they were like, he, he, he just looked like he beat, you know, beating up on, you know, the lower class people. I'm t <laughs> I mean, that's probably the truth. I'm, I'm pretty modest when it comes to it, but, you know, car's hooked up. I think, uh, hey, how about that? That's a good, uh... Well... I'm telling you, so at least I won't cut a tire. That's true. Yeah, well, you sure not to help you. Bet your ass it is. This is where it stands. Y'all get, y'all get in first. You know, I, I won't, I won't take it back. I mean, those, the, the West Coast boys I'm definitely, just kidding, no. definitely have a lot of talent. They got a lot of car. No, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure, because I, I, I ain't nobody to talk about. That's for sure. But I may, I may be noticeable with that big orange car. But it's, uh, actually, I'm racing a guy that I went to elementary school with in California and I haven't seen him in 22 years and it's pretty cool how the, 
short track racing just brings people hands across America here. You know, it's it's a uh, it's really awesome how it just brings family and friends back together after 20 years. Did you give them a big kiss or I, you know a little a little ass grab? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's been it's at been least a you're while. keeping it West Coast. No, you know, you know it's like <laughs> you know it's it's it, it, any good friend brings you back to you know the just. It, Funny thing is, you know, somebody in Texas here talking about hometown, you know, somewhere where your roots are from, and it's just, it just shows what this racing does, you know. It's so, just, what about the track, the reworking and all that? What do you think is, uh, is it even gonna make a difference? Can it make it worse? It's gonna make it better. I, I, I mean, I, I, I've been airborne in one of these choppy tracks before in a in a dwarf car and uh <laughs> yeah you know oh yeah I mean, and it uh, the same track it's uh it's not fun it's not fun at all you know I, I i'm okay with three wheels just touching the ground but you know when you start when you start biking through the corners because of some nasty rut so the track is doing exactly what they should be doing right now and it's it's not necessarily about making the track faster or better safer. it's about safer and you know anybody who's looking out for safety with all these drivers showing up here is yeah, number one in my book. Yeah, when all four tires come off the ground and your seat pan catches when you land and it stops you, that really sucks. Not so fun. But that's where my right rear is gonna go and then my yeah. front rear, or my, my right front is gonna be over the fence a little while. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, right there. I'm really gonna oh, try yeah. right there. And just use the fence as like the straight pan. I mean, really, that's a good entry rut. I'd take it. Oh, but you see how it stops right there. Yeah, that's a rut. Well, yeah, he picked it up because it's skimming, but I don't know. Is it time to go to bed? So, what do you think about the track? What do you think they're doing here trying to... Well, I think I think we should have just. I thought the track was good as it was. I, yeah, that don't look pretty good right there. Yeah, everyone's got to race on the same track. So, is this your first time here? Yeah. yeah. Where do you usually run at? Uh, like nor northern Nevada and like all over California, Oregon and Arizona. So, first impressions there in the heat race of the track. A little higher banked or than you thought? Then, no. It's, I was just expecting it to be kind of dry, slick, and smooth because from research and videos and talking to a lot of the local guys, that's what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting this, but after all the rain they got, it's natural. But. Stretch here, John Jones continues to lead. 
Rude if we get around Grenard. Grenard trying to battle back on the outside. 71 and John Rowe on the outside looking in riding there in the fourth spot right there as well as the 146 of Taylor Hunter. Four cars under blanket for the second spot on the speedway. Grenard going to get the advantage. Rowe going to the inside of the Astoria and Dallas Patterson battle. Astoria able to get the advantage over Patterson to move up into the sixth spot the final transfer position on the speedway. The battle for second is continuing though. Grenard with the advantage three. Jones leads. We're in second. Third is a battle. Rude, Hunter, and Rome. And they sell it out. Rome with the third spot. White flag to the fly. One more lap to go. John Jones out front and gone. Bernard in the battle for third right now between Rude and Rome. Rome with the advantage in the three and four. He's going to go to pick it up. Something going south with the 146 of Taylor Hunter. Winner Jones, second to her, third row, fourth Rude. And fifth is now going to go to the 20 of Brian Stoy. And six goes to Hunter. Great effort to get it uh, get it right. You know, with all the rain, it's, it's tough, obviously, but it's still still going to be brutal on us. But it's got a lot of character. They qualify for the IMC modifies. Is underway in order to Texas Speedway Top Two. Moving to the main event. Tommy Williams Jr. out of the car. The good sign there is he was upside down in turn number one. Williams Jr. able to drive the car away. Wow. Big damage on Josh Magaha's car. Free flight, we are back underway here in Paul Hine Racing Action. Magaha looking at the inside of Dinsmore. You also have Jeff Lloyd in this race as well as Garrett Higgins. Higgins working the middle side of the speedway. Paul White continues to be your early leader in that white number two car. JP Dow in second. Higgins to the inside. Finally getting by was down. As Magaha looks to do battle with the 163 of Jake Henderson. Henderson and Magaha is Jason Wall right behind him. Dinsmore and Hoy get crossed up as Magaha to the outside of Henderson. Hoy up the raceway. Magaha looking underneath him. And Jason Wall on the outside of Magaha. Now as Magaha having to go to the bottom. Also the 27G of Graham involved as uh, the 163 of uh, Jake Henderson going to come to a stop and bring out the caution. Green flag once again here in your A qualifying event. And one and two, three, four wide people having to drive straight goes. Look out, he's tagged and he goes around the 87 P of Ryan Williams also collecting. Magaha pulls the 911 into the pitting area. Look at the damage on that vehicle. Warriors staying out on the speedway as conditions get rough as we are back into green racing action in one and two as well. And Hoy the far speedway in one and two. The wrench pretty much just shot him off the track. 
as they're able to get back onto the speedway and continue as probably back there in the sixth and seventh spot. Upside down for Dinsmore, he lands on Hoyt's hood. Red flag once again here at the heart of Texas Speedway. Cars flipping in the huge ruts that have developed. Green flag back on out the field is half gone. As oh, contact there between the 29 and TJ Lackey and Higgins. Lackey might not be too happy. Oh, he drives in the back of Higgins. Higgins able to get away from it. Now your leader, Wallace second. Third is Paul White. Higgins needs to get up in to the second position on the speedway to transfer into the main event. Higgins looks high, now looks low underneath Granham. Higgins able to make the move and get around another car on the speedway. Higgins finding something on the outside. Granham trying to battle back, but Higgins with the advantage in the three and four. White and Wall right in front of him. He's got to find a way to pass two cars in just two laps. White flag coming out this time by Higgins looking to make a move to get up in a second. Two for one on the turn number four. He's got it. Oh, up in the pole. Wall and Wall. Wow, into the wall. Everything going awry there. Wall and White into the wall. Yellow is going to fly. And they're actually going to throw the checkered here. J.P. Dallier winner and Higgins going home second with a crazy move there at the end that ended up with Paul White coming to a stop on the front straightaway. Well, yeah, that that was bad. <laughs> I was sitting in a position where I wanted to pull off because it was so rough, but I was sitting in a transfer spot running second, and uh, I restart. I hit that rut and went plumb off the racetrack and fell back to six or seven, something like that. And I, I told myself to pull off. And, I didn't and uh, ended up getting back to second, so puts us in for tomorrow night, but at what cost, I'm not sure. The left rear slider's bent in half, shock's bent, but uh, we just have had so much rain, the track just come apart, it's like a big sponge. I'm glad they shut it down for the next four or five qualifiers because uh, somebody was going to get hurt. I guess this is example A of why they canceled it tonight. Yeah. yeah absolutely ridiculous. Worst track I've ever been on by far. About to bring a brand new car out. We'll load it up in pieces. We're the guinea pigs. Everybody else gets to load up in one piece because we went and tore all our stuff up for them. Is what it is. Sure would have been nice for me to be in the second one. Right. Kind of. I don't know if that's fair, you know. <laughs> we all had to race on that in the first one, you know. But if they don't stop it, somebody's gonna get hurt bad, you know. Three, three, two complete rollovers. One damn near rollover. Four out of 16 cars finished. Yeah, that's bad, bad, but oh well. We should be able to straighten them back out, put some new parts on, and try again. Maybe we'll have a track to work with tomorrow.
Off-Pro Clutch and Driveline is located in Abilene, Texas and has over 16 years of experience in the driveline industry. We offer a wide range of products in the agricultural, oil field, commercial trucking, automotive, and racing industries. Our goal at All-Pro is to provide the best service using the highest quality parts to ensure that our customers receive the maximum potential from our products along with the best customer service. Give us a call at 325-677-9149 or visit our website at allprodriveline.com. When you can't wait and need things to slide, grab and go, you can depend on a driveline straight from the street to the slab at All Pro. Velocity USA is an industry leader in providing state-of-the-art safety equipment for race teams and drivers. Pro suits feature custom design and unlimited embroidery, along with shoulder applet, 360 rotational arm gussets, flex gusset in the back, boot cuff with inner liner, foot stir, and trademark black Kermel lensing liner. All pro suits are made with stain-resistant, lightweight premium material, as well as Flowtech arm and leg seams to keep you, the driver, cool and comfortable behind the wheel of your race car. Velocity USA they can also provide custom gloves and racing shoes to add to your swag. Velocity USA also has plenty of other options for the racers on a budget. Everything from our custom, team, and sportsman series suits to our VR one layer suits which include 360 rotational arm gussets, radio pocket, and boot cuff with inner liner priced at just under $200. Whether you are the weekly racer going for the track championship or a touring talent looking for the national title from the cuffs, gloves, and the shoes that you lace you can look good feel safe and save at Velocita usa build your brand drive exposure and connect with a captive audience that supports the brands they know mississippi thunder speedway provides you and your company with a marketing plan and promotional opportunities that put you in front of an energetic captive educated audience that has money and is ready to spend it. Since 2009, Mississippi Thunder Speedway continues to be recognized both regionally and nationally as a premier motorsports facility. Hosting USRA and USMTS events that boost the emotions of crowds and racers, lifting them off the edge of their seats. Now your business can be part of this energy and excitement if you want to entertain customers and reach a captive and engaged audience Mississippi Thunder Speedway has the power-packed custom marketing programs to do just that. From the VIP Super Lounge to on-track signage, PA event advertising and opportunities to sample and show your product, Mississippi Thunder Speedway works with you through every detail. That's why Mississippi Thunder Speedway promotional partners return year after year. That's why trackside marketing plans are selling out and that's why you need to take advantage of the sport that continues to grow and give families the best value for a night of entertainment. To learn more and get on track to creating a custom marketing program today, contact the Mississippi Thunder Speedway Marketing Manager. decided that they were going to revert back even though we passed the start finish line they decided they were going to revert back to the last completed lap so put paul white they put in paul white and jason walla back in front of me so destroyed car and no transfer now that's right so. and uh what all did you figure out was messed up down here now uh, or, or or was it better or worse than you thought uh, i got a bent uh left rear shock Penske shock, so that's not cheap. Slider, springs, toast. Snap the uh, shear pin out of the out of the uh, limit chain. Uh, the decking snapped completely off. Uh, the roof's coming off, and I haven't even got to the front yet. So I don't and know. This is the rear is usually the stronger part of the yeah. car. <laughs> I uh, 
you know, I was running second and uh, working on passing JP for the lead a couple times. And then we had that restart, and I shot off the end of the hit that rut real hard and shot off the racetrack and fell back there seventh or so. We had that red. I thought I thought about just coming off then, but uh, you know, those fans they didn't they didn't come to you know watch us pull off. Um, so I was just going to try to make a show out of it, which seemed to do a pretty good job of doing that, but uh, it was at a pretty expensive cost. So, and then now we don't. Now we got to start on the pole. I think we'll start on the pole of the last chance qualifier, but you know that uh, still an another main I got to run. That put me instead of starting in the second row of the A tonight, I'll start. You know, probably best I can start be 15th. It's almost back together, so we got a few things to do and see if we can get a better track today. Something to work with. So apparently uh, last chance qualifiers and that's it? And I guess in the dirt dominator deal you know that bracket race, so that's what you're eyeballing I guess now or that's pretty much all we got. So I don't know, just like I said trying to if we can get a good track to get some laps on this new car and, and uh Get some data to go with so to speak and we'll be good so y'all are both in that dominator deal right correct yep so one-on-one -on -one, you know what's going to happen if that ever happens are you on the other if side of the ten, bracket we're on the we're on opposite sides of the bracket so yeah, well, that's what we want one -on -one for the 10k what's going to happen bro we want, we want to be in the end together yeah so i mean Paul, i mean you saw what happened to paul white bro don't get yeah, yeah, wasted, uh, bro. Don't, don't dump your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just better hope, sure, that I ain't able to keep going. <laughs> hey, like I said, you saw him to Paul White, bro. Uh, yeah, I forgot to check the battery in my blind spot indicator on my rearview mirror. Yeah. That's the excuse. Get ready for it. A dirt, dirt dominator comes up. He already got it. Nah, there won't be no excuses on that. All you're going to say so, is fucking you, Was you the one working on the whole shot? Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about working on hold shots like Supercross. You know they they, they, changed, they, they changed it back to two on two. Oh, they they killed the four wide. Yeah, I wish they would oh. the four wide. That thing oh, one. Yeah, then, you get, then you just grow a side. Well. Yep. Yep. What? It's gonna be it. This is it. This is it right here. You think so? I know. You so. don't see anything to go south now. I think they got the full crew running this thing. They're determined not to make it yesterday. Right. And with the with the wing sprints here, they gotta make it perfect. And when it's perfect for them, it's perfect for us. And uh, to win it, you probably can't lift. You gotta be up here. You gotta find a spot where you're not gonna lift. Seems like those West Coast guys just don't care. They go in there wide open and sling it. Zero Fs given. That's uh. I guess that's how you drive a dwarf car now. You know, I mean, everybody, everybody seems to be uh, pretty impressed when they get out of one of these things, and when you can actually hold on to it like that. Track, track means a whole lot, but you know, I, I just saw those Cali boys do some stuff in those cars that I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk on a track that we were experiencing last well, night. They came all the way. They're like, this is when, I mean, I didn't come all this way just to play around, you know. I, I, I would be in the same boat if I drove that far. I, I'd either uh, set that on the pad or hang it on the wall, one of the two. Well, what do you think? Uh, it's dry. Just gonna have to be patient, just take our time getting through. Think it's gonna be a little easier on the car? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully everyone everyone else will take it easy on each other and not try to win it on the first lap. The next race tonight's the real deal. Green flag is out, top ten moving to the main event. Oh Estiade pulls up on the first straightaway. He's already out of this one. Wow. here in the field, the 17 of Mag Mora from Arizona and the 11 of Danny Wagner battling it out. And Kyle Jones in that five is going to get the advantage in that battle. Ray Allen Carr.
Slingshot move. Oh, okay. Momentum. I'm gonna stick my dirty little nose in where it doesn't belong this race. Oh, oh. <laughs> so the car may not come back the way it looks right now. You know what? I've been saving my car just to make it to the race. Now it's time to have fun. What does have fun mean? To have you? fun means get wild. Okay. Get dirty. What 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 went on there? Uh, looked like uh the guy on the front, Mac, just went in there, lost on the first lap. I saw him coming down, I checked up, went to go around the wreck and someone just plowed in the right rear, ended up breaking a trailing arm and pulling the yoke off the drive line. So we'll get her fixed and get back at it. Seems like a pretty stacked B mains brewing now. I mean, uh, uh, you got the Audis in there, you got the 11 car, you... Yeah, well, everybody's got a... Everyone's got the same shot at making it, so. Track conditions are uh, definitely different. Uh, different than yesterday, but we I would say try it out, really. swings in our favor. But yeah, we didn't didn't get to see much in just the first turn. But pretty much what I were, was worried about happened. So, uh, but that's all right. Hopefully, we just get to get back out there.
see you. Who else, huh? Him. It feels great. It's been a, it's been an uphill battle. You know, the, the person I need to thank the most is Chris Elliott. Um, he talked me into getting this car from, from Post and one of our sponsors, and, and uh, we set it up just like his, and, and uh, made a bunch of made some changes. But it's been great. It's been fun. Seemed like you had the old school three wheel set up on there, picking the left front of it. Most of my guys don't do that anymore, but yours was hooking up and rotating well. Yeah, I didn't want it. Um, I don't know why it's three-wheeling. I don't have a clue. So that's something we're going to have to go back to the drawing board, but maybe not now. Right, right, right. <laughs> you, you discovered the, ne the next phase of modified racing maybe right here. I guess. I don't know. I don't even know what's, what's going on right now. I mean, it's uh, feels like I'm still in a dream right now. So 10K obviously is a big win. You said this was a new car. Uh, IRP is as yeah, well, it's huh? Yeah, it's an IRP. Um, one of our sponsors, Will Poston, had it, and uh, he got a little. He got out of it. And that's uh, 2017, it's used. We had to trade this trade across with my GRT. And won three for three in it at home. And uh, we raced last night in it. I think we raced last night. Yeah, we raced last night. But um, that's by far the biggest win. It's, uh, it's good. It's really good. Race Cars is one of the leading chassis innovators in the southern United States region. Specializing in modified and sport modified chassis manufacturing, IRP Race Cars is based out of Longview, Texas. Throughout the course of its existence in the surrounding areas, IRP Race Cars has racked up multiple track championships and marquee victories. For more information on IRP Race Cars, visit their Facebook page at facebook.com slash IRP Race Cars or give them a call at 903-452-9168. For the next car to handle like a dream, it's got to be an IRP. Build your brand, drive exposure, and connect with a captive audience that supports the brands they know. Mississippi Thunder Speedway provides you and your company with a marketing plan and promotional opportunities that put you in front of an energetic, captive, educated audience that has money and is ready to spend it. Since 2009, Mississippi Thunder Speedway continues to be recognized both regionally and nationally as a premier motorsports facility. Hosting USRA and USMTS events that boost the emotions of crowds and racers, lifting them off the edge of their seats. Now your business can be part of this energy and excitement. If you want to entertain customers and reach a captive and engaged audience, Mississippi Thunder Speedway has the power-packed custom marketing programs to do just that. From the VIP Super Lounge to on-track signage, PA event advertising and opportunities to sample and show your product, Mississippi Thunder Speedway works with you through every detail. That's why Mississippi Thunder Speedway promotional partners return year after year. That's why trackside marketing plans are selling out and that's why you need to take advantage of the sport that continues to grow and give families the best value for a night of entertainment. To learn more and get on track to creating a custom marketing program today, contact the Mississippi Thunder Speedway Marketing Manager. Velocity USA is an industry leader in providing state-of-the-art safety equipment for race teams and drivers. Pro suits feature custom design and unlimited embroidery, along with shoulder applet, 360 rotational arm gussets, flex gusset in the back, boot cuff with inner liner, foot stir, and trademark black Kermel lensing liner. All pro suits are made with stain-resistant, lightweight premium material, as well as Flowtech arm and leg seams to keep you, the driver, cool and comfortable behind the wheel of your race car. Velocity USA USA can also provide custom gloves and racing shoes to add to your swag. Velocity USA also has plenty of other options for the racers on a budget. Everything from our custom, team, and sportsman series suits to our VR one layer suits which include 360 rotational arm gussets, radio pocket, and boot cuff with inner liner priced at just under $200. Whether you are the weekly racer going for the track championship or a touring talent looking for the national title from the cuffs, gloves, and the shoes that you 
lace. You can look good, feel safe, and save at Velocita USA. All-Pro Clutch and Driveline is located in Abilene, Texas and has over 16 years of experience in the driveline industry. We offer a wide range of products in the agricultural, oil field, commercial trucking, automotive, and racing industries. Our goal at All-Pro is to provide the best service using the highest quality parts to ensure that our customers receive the maximum potential from our products along with the best customer service. Give us a call at 325-677-9149 or visit our website at allprodriveline.com. When you can't wait and need things to slide, grab and go, you can depend on a driveline straight from the street to the slab at All Pro. Are you from the DFW or North Texas region? Have a new, older, vintage model car lying around? Maybe a go-kart, motorcycle, or ATV that just isn't used? Well, let the professionals at A&M Cash for Cars pay you top dollar for your motorized vehicle. Anything from cars, trucks, vans, go-karts, ATVs, side-by-sides, and motorcycles. New, old, vintage, and rare, the list is endless of what we are looking to give cold hard cash for today. If it has a motor in it, running or not, A&M Cash for Cars is ready to to take it off your hands. To inquire on getting cash today, give us a call at 214-315-2675 or message us on our Facebook page. Remember, if you are thinking of selling or trading anything in, to stop in your tracks and reach out to A&M. going to be in it wasn't wasn't too bad so what are you gonna have to do because you ain't starting up front necessarily pass we have to go for it so there's a little a uh, few guys were running the top but you had to be out there and one and two three and four seemed like you couldn't even try uh be honest three three looks really good right now i just don't think you can come off a four but if you could like i think diamond off the turn come off where the bottom is you could you could run up high for a while and I don't know I seen one and two still working so some guys can run it so we're just gonna go wherever no one is running in front of us so Let's see how it goes. I am Shane Modify, last chance qualifier, top five living in the main event, Garrett Higgins and Magaha involved in this race, top five, 2020. Magaha battling it out with Inspire, three wide there with Hoyt right in front of him, but Garrett Higgins continues to lead. Higgins out front, smooth sailing on the top five, a 37 ace machine, Magaha trying to make sure there's a hoy, and back it together, Magaha going to move up into the second spot on the speedway. Blackie and Hoy able to maintain their spots in third and fourth. Higgins out front, Magaha in second. Magaha has had a trip this weekend at the Heart of Texas Speedway. 
That car has been destroyed one way and another. Both drivers have worked on their cars. He gets it now. And the company it is with a hot in the inside side by side. But we go that straight away. Higgins with the advantage. Magaha down in the back bumper as Lackey gets in the way of Magaha there just a little bit. Higgins bounces on the rush as here comes Magaha leading the inside once again. That lead up for the top spot here. Top five are moving on both drivers on, but they won a win. Magaha leads that lap. Magaha Higgins throws her down and takes the lead back down the back straight away. Higgins solidifies the top spot as we work into one and two. Magaha with a big bobble there. He loses all kinds of ground to Higgins. Two to go there at the line. Two to go. For Garrett Higgins, Magaha is going to have to find something special if he wants to get the lead and win this LCQ. He closes it on the 37H of Higgins. White flag's going to fly. One more lap to go. Higgins with the lead. Magaha wants it. Magaha to the back bumper. Lap car going to play a factor. Higgins high behind the lap car. Pick his name. Magaha to the lead. Higgins battles back on the outside from Josh Magaha is going to get the win here in the LCQ. Wow, what a drive there by the 911. And Higgins comes home in second. Both drivers moving on top five to the main event. But Josh Magaha, what a drive for the win here in your LCQ. That was a sign. Yeah. Yeah, it was. We're going in the right direction. It was good that time. Track. Still got a rut in one and two, but it's pretty good elsewhere. I mean, they've worked their ass off, you know, all weekend. They got it going. Been some good racing, you know, and today. You did too, and you, you got it going too. Yeah, so, yeah it did like, good. Got a shot of coming through the field of this one, maybe? Uh, it's going to be tough. You know, that rut's going to increase, I think, you know. But, uh,. I mean, it's tough. It's, it's that good. rut means if someone hits it and you don't, you can pass some cars. Yeah, that's true. So, it ought to be good. 24 cars is all it's making A out of 55 or 60 miles, so that's a pretty good deal. IMJ, uh, 5,000 win, modified, fall classic.
Jeffrey Abbey, JP Dow, as well as Chase Allen doing some work there on the bottom side of Speedway 52. John Cobra also in the frame, but Garrett Higgins, the one man on the mission on the top side of the Speedway. He's really in Tom Perry and Abbey. The 37s go at it. Uh, some rap artists definitely like using a certain font on those two cars as they are very similar. Higgins, though, staying at the top side of the speedway. Tom Perry pushes up the raceway. Higgins now able to get around Perry down the back straightway into three and four. 37H of Garrett Higgins coming from that last chance qualifier, and he's on a move. Meanwhile, battle for the lead. Two Northern State racers there. Uh, as Higgins on the top of the track. And he able to get back Price. As Walla and Rock. Rock from Nebraska. Jason Walla from North Dakota. It's a battle of North. It's a battle of the lead for the 27. And Jason Walla. Continue to wind out, battling throughout this field. Tom Berry, J.P. Dow, John Cobra there in the battle. As you see, the 37 of Jeffrey Abbey. Abbey now trying to go to the outside in three and a four. Three, one, a turn over four, and Abbey with the advantage at the line over that battle there on the speedway. Dow trying to battle back, but Abbey just too strong the outside the speedway. Garrett Higgins now the next man to try it. The 37 is doing some work on the outside of the Yahoo Texas Speedway. Higgins trying to get around Dow. Dow up in front of him. Dow right there in front of Higgins. As well as Fry Rock. Higgins now looking at the outside of Gober. Meanwhile, back up front, you have the battle between Anthony Roth and Chase Allen from the second spot as Jason Wall has checked out from the rest of the field. Roth able to hold off the six of Chase Allen. Allen trying to represent Texas here, the only Texas driver there within the top three, in the top four. As three wide Higgins, Sly Rock and Abby. Higgins able to throw a move there on down. You had something on the outside. Yeah, I mean, you jumped the cushion, and everybody saw what you were doing, and this took your line away. Yeah, I, uh, me and Abby figured it out early. We were coming up through there pretty good, and then I actually got back, got by Abby on the restart, and uh, I hung my right rear off. You had to get in on uh, on one uh, really easy because you dig the the cross member in. So once if you get in good there and it was like a one foot spot you had to hit you could rotate and go and just drive by those guys and uh i just missed it by a little bit and hung the right rear off and fell way back i'm happy to come back to six though but uh it was a lot of fun um i'd have liked to start it up front like i thought i was going to uh after last night's deal but it is what it is we had, we had a blast <laughs> i don't know it's a uh, Five in the morning. I haven't been to bed since yes, since Friday, 5:30 when we left to come here, and and uh, it's ready to get home. I had a good weekend. So talk about that uh, main event. Seems like the track has been difficult all weekend, and 
really was in that main. Yeah, it was. It, uh, it kind of, well, at the beginning of the night, track was nice and slick, kind of smooth like we like it. So we're, you know, gravitating that way with our setup. And uh, then we went out for the main, and I hadn't been watching it because the show drug on so long. We're uh, a lot tighter than I anticipated, but got out there and seen the ruts and thought we were in trouble. We started fourth, so we had a good starting position. I hate starting front row, but uh, just I think uh, Anthony just fell victim to being the guy out front and didn't, didn't know where the line was moving to. He had a good line. He was running good, but uh, just found something and able to sneak by him. Seemed like you were kind of working the middle to get by him. Nobody I, really was even trying that. I was just trying to go where the ruts aren't. Uh, there's a lot of moisture in the ruts, but every time you hit them, you get so upset. The car gets so upset and throws you around and slows you down, knocks your rhythm off, burn your tires up. So we we're just trying to find a smooth way around. Green flag is out. We are underway here with your fourth car in Nashville at the heart of Texas Speedway. Drivers from California, Oregon, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, and all over the United States are here to a battle for the American for the Sean Jones using the outside line to make his way through this field early and often. Leader lap number one going to be the 17M of Mark Marvin as Kyle Jones having issues as he's off the pace and is done. Just look at the Joe Frock making four wide there. 22 of Anthony Pope. That is the driver from Oregon. That 22 right there on the outside line. Ryan Stoy involved in the battles of the Stoy in the 20 car. The big one to get around Pope. Pope and Flop in the 3 and 4. Oh, we got one on the side. Down and Ryan Stoy involved as well. Green flag, we're coming back. Racing action, the 146 of Taylor Hunter leads the field in the one and two. Look at Sean Jones, he started 12th. He's up in the third around Jeff Patterson. The nine of Chad Mathis in there. Sean Jones now working on the 146 of Taylor Hunter. Hunter and Jones, the two cars separating themselves from the rest of the field in the three and four they go. Jones looking to the bottom. Jones who set a new track record here at the heart of Texas Speedway now trying to set his mark into the number one spot for the Dwarf Car Nationals victory. Which is a little bit of ground there to Hunter. Frock in the third. Big run by the 11D in of Wagner. Wagner now the inside of Frock in the three and four. Give third the 11 car. Battle for the lead once again. Jones with the big roll on the outside of 22. Side by side of the back straight away. Not a battle anymore. You got a new leader of the three of Sean Jones. There's a 57 of Ryan Diotti now looking at the inside of Jeff Patterson. Diotti and Patterson side by side. Patterson now trying to come back underneath Diotti down the front straightaway. He's doing so. As we work into one and two, John Hogan, that's somebody going with a big one on the outside of that 57 of Darren Brent. Diotti trying to work on Brent now as well as he's got around Patterson. Diotti to the end side of Brent off the turn number four. He's got the spot. Number nine and Chad Mathis now getting challenged by the 71 of John Rome down the back straightaway into three and four. Well, on the outside, Mathis on the bottom, the Audi on the extreme outside group trying to develop a line, maybe to get up there and pass both of these vehicles. Mathis gets a little crossed up there, rolling to get around the number nine of Mathis with the Audi in the background, 17 M of Mark Marmon right there in front of him. Rowan now the outside of Frock. Frock in Rowan in lap traffic there with 32 of Dallas Patterson. Frock to the inside. Rowan to the outside. Rowan with the move on Frock. Frock though able to hold down the spot right now. Yellow is on the speedway. Yellow is out. Green flag we are back underway once again here in your Dwarf Car Nationals. 11 D in of Danny Wagner looks for us. Look at John Rowan. Cars coming up through the field once again. He fell back there trying to use that outside line. Two spots went by, but he went right back by him. But Frock's gonna not hold on to the third spot. It's almost upside down for Wagner. Wagner goes around, yellows out. Two more.
seven laps to go here in your Dwarf Car Nationals and Sean Jones leads the field. Getting ready to go green flag racing. Jones, Hunter, Rowe, North Top 3, Rock in fourth, and Diotti in fifth. We are back underway. Hunter to the inside. Jones makes a mistake on the outside line. Homer with the possible. No, not able to get it done. As Jones drives right back around. White flag is flying. Rome trying to get up underneath Hunter. Not able to do so. Jones to the outside once again. He holds on to it. Able to pull away with the lead. Frog trying to get underneath Rome. Not able to get it done. As we work into three and four on the turn number four. New track record. New Dwarf Car National Champion. San Jose, California. Sean Jones, your winner. Second going to Taylor Hunter. Third going to John Rome. From 17th, Joe Frock up to fourth. But your Dwarf Car Nationals champion out of San Jose, California. The three, Sean Jones. So uh, talk about the uh, race there real quick. Oh, the race was awesome. You know, I started 12, so was, I knew I had to get to the front quick or it wasn't going to happen because everybody's just going to go to the top. But I kind of figured out at the top going over the ruts and then coming down a little bit. and It was pretty good. And then I caught the leader and just kind of put a slide job on him and that worked out. And then I felt like I was going as fast as I could go. Those last two restarts got in my head a little bit and I missed it a little bit, but I just happened to have it. Yeah, you almost toppled it over there, it looked like. Yeah, it got a little too high or a little too, enter, too slow or something. I'm not sure what happened, but it was definitely a stupid mistake. <laughs> but able to get back by the guy. Right? Yeah, no shit, yeah. Was, uh, how'd you get out here? You driving the car? Oh, him right here. Ryan, you had to give me the call. <laughs> Tony uh, Stephensmeyer owns the car, and he wanted me to come out here and drive it for him. And Ryan, talk, I had to pull his arm and talk him into it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one that got me into it, though, for sure. <laughs> First of all, thank you all for coming. I don't want to uh, hold you all for too long, but we have a few things to give out. And the champion in the pro class, winner of 1500 bucks. And set the track record. And set the track record. And set the track record. John Jones. Strapping the seat, then come on out in the sea. Strapping these cars off.